The following is a special presentation of Big Polly's World of Sports Sims, alternating the reality of sports and entertainment since 2020. Everybody, welcome to our latest installment of the Hometown Football League. This is game number four, week number six. We have Las Vegas traveling to the Pacific Northwest to take on Seattle as our uh, game here in the last of the four horizontal rows. And then we'll do Los Angeles, Kansas City. We'll honor LA's trip to the Super Bowl uh, tomorrow. But right now we have the Iron Man which is what we call the Vegas franchise, uh, since there are not enough Raiders yet to fill it. And they'll, they'll have the Raider logo, because I guess an Iron Man could be a Raider. And they are going to take on... Is my microphone on? Yes, it is. Seattle. I'll play as Seattle. The computer will play as Vegas. And it's 54 degrees, clear skies, and Seattle will have the wind advantage. Maybe. We'll, we'll see uh, once we go through the coin toss. Premature to see uh, who has it yet. So we have two modern era quarterbacks, Derek Carr and Russell Wilson. Uh, I hear speculation Carr could be on the move somewhere. And Wilson could also be on the move somewhere. We'll see uh, as the offseason progresses, which will start. Once the Super Bowl ends, Russell Wilson, a 102.9 rating so far after five games of the HTFL. Uh, so we'll see what happens in week number six. It hasn't translated to a winning record. Eisenhower and Schwartz each with three sacks for Vegas. We have done a few of their games in this HDL, HDFL season so far. I think we did have done Seattle once or twice. Seattle won the toss to the third of the second half. It is Gafford, Guerin, and Davis back deep for Vegas. And this one is underway, and it's Guerin taking it out to the 28, a return of 27 yards. Young on the tackle for Seattle. So Vegas will have the wind advantage for quarters one and four. And Seattle for two and three. It's Garner and Colmer, and eight and three receiver ratings for each man, respectively. Those are your two running backs. That's Coles and Cruz, the two New Yorkers, nine and a seven. Vernon Davis is a six. Carr is your quarterback. And the blocking numbers we'll give after we tell you that Kennard, Rasmussen, Oates, Moore, and Barton are your offensive linemen from tackle to tackle. Kennard is the only 10. Bruiser Kennard. Rasmussen a 7. Oates an 8. Moore a 7. Barton an 8. So you see a lot of New York and San Francisco, uh, Oakland immigrants on this Vegas roster. First and 10 at the 28. Marker before the first play of, start. of scrimmage. Offense. Number 85, five-yard penalty, repeat first down. That's Vernon Davis. We'll go ahead and give you the Seattle defense. Green, Sinclair, Kennedy, and Nash, an 8, an 8, a 9, and a 7. Defensively on the line, Brown, Wagner, and Wright, an eight, 9, a 10, and an 8 are your linebackers. Sherman and Brown, a 10, and an 8. Easley and Robinson, your safeties, a 10, and a 9. So when Seattle gets the ball, we'll do the reverse. We'll give you their offense. And the Vegas defense, first and 15 now at the 23. It's Carr throwing to Mickey Colmer, a gain of four yards. Colmer played for the Brooklyn Dodgers of the AAFC, I believe. Let me see what year that was. Yeah, 1947. So that would be the AAFC Brooklyn Dodgers. Second and 11 at the 27. Carr. Again, finding, uh, no, that was Garner that time. Gain of three, third and eight. If you, if you had the 10-yard distance, this would not be a bad decision. It would be third and three, but it's third and eight with the penalty to Vernon Davis. And Carr's going to throw, and it's going to be incomplete. 
So Seattle should get it on the punt, barring a turnover or any other mishap. And that's going to be Lockett with the fair catch. Punter was Babe Perilli, who I, I probably mentioned in previous episodes. It was uh, Joe Namath's backup quarterback with the Jets for many years. Also played for the Patriots. So offensively for Seattle, Alexander and Williams, a four and a nine receivers out of the backfield. Jerry Rice was a Seattle Seahawk at one point, so he's eligible to be on the team. He is a 10. And he is coupled with Steve Largent. Carlson is a four. Rice and Largent a ten and a nine. Carlson a four. Wilson is your quarterback out of Wisconsin. Jones and Hutchinson are both tens. Unger, Kendall, and Heck join them. Seven, eight, seven, respectively. So if I'm Seattle, which I am, I, I try to run to the left side and try to take advantage of the blocking of Jones and Hutchinson, Jones in the Hall of Fame, should probably move the tight end over to that side and go off tackle right with Sean Alexander, first and 10. He will pick up four yards. My coaching style is no matter who I have, I like to run the ball. Try to establish, you know, I'm not a pass-happy guy. And it's second and six. Now, that being said, I got Rice and I got Largent, two Hall of Famers that I could use. So we're going to pass on second. But Wilson will run close to the first down marker, hit Fred the Hammer Williamson making the tackle, which reminds me that I forgot to give you the Vegas defense. So we'll do that now. Eisenhower, Schwartz, Kennard, and Antoine. There's Kennard again. And their defensive ratings are 8, 7, 10, and 8, respective. Lee, Harvey, Bonacani, and Asamuga, 9 and 8. A nine and a nine. That's Nick Bonacani playing middle linebacker. Actually, no, I take that back. Harvey is an eight and Bonacani is a nine. Those are two linebackers because they're playing a four two five at the moment. But if I set that up, I could tell you that the other linebacker, well, I can't right now. Asamuga, Williamson, McDonald, Goldson, and Griffin is the fifth DB. Asamuga is a 9, Williamson an 8, McDonald a 9, Goldson an 8, and Griffin is an 8. I'll just run uh, Alexander on a dive. Addison is the other linebacker. He is an 8, and that was a run of 3 for Sean Alexander. I did that just so I could show you what was uh, what would the base formation is for Las Vegas. Slant over the middle to Jerry Rice, a first down and 10. The last play was a first. Gain of eight. Asamuga making the tackle. Second and two. And here's where I like to use play action. And we'll go long to Rice. Remember, Seattle is into the wind. That's a penalty. That's got to be. Pass interference. Defense. Number 21, automatic, first down. So a first for Seattle now at the Vegas 31. We'll go double tight and look for John L. Williams out of the University of Florida. And that is a gain of just a yard. Bonacani on the stop for Vegas. Remember, Vegas does not have enough players because they've only been playing, uh, the Raiders have only been playing there a couple of years, so we put a few Vegas Raiders on the team, but we usually give them the uh, players that the other franchises did not select, but it, they wind up being a good team. Sweep left, Alexander, second and nine, just shows you the depth the HTFL has. Gain a six, Bonacani on the tackle. We have Schwartz out for a few plays, so Carter... Andre Carter coming in. He's out of Cali, University of California. Third and three. We're going to screen it to Alexander. And that's a first. Five-yard gain. Ninth play of the drive coming up for Seattle. No score. 9.05 left. Opening frame. And Alexander will go off tackle left. And that's a huge gain. Down to the two for 17 yards. Last week, Alexander ran the ball 19 times for 149 yards. I think we did that game last week, just off of the memory. We'll go John L. on a trap left on from the two-yard line. 
It's a touchdown. It was first and goal, which doesn't matter now because Seattle has scored a touchdown. They're up 6-0. And your point after good, that was kicked by Josh Brown. 7-0, 733 to go. The play, the drive, I should say, 10 plays, 76 yards, took 546 off the clock. And Vegas facing some adversity here for a change. Gafford back deep for Vegas. We introduced you to their kick return routine earlier. Return Illegal team block. earlier. Receiving team, 10-yard penalty. I'm all right. Bruiser Kennard playing special teams gets called for the illegal block. It's first and 10 after 24 with 7.25 to go. And it's Carr looking and finding Vernon Davis, a nine-yard play, nine-yard gain. Kenny Easley on the stop for Seattle. Second and a yard at the 33. And it's Carr. He'll go deep. And why wouldn't you on that down in distance? Gain a 37. Long cross to Cruz, and there was room for him. First and 10 at the 30. So Vegas looking to strike quickly here. Garner, no game. Wagner on the stop for Seattle. Second and 10 at the 30. This drive in its infancy. Another long throw and another long catch for Victor Cruz, who caught seven balls last week for 116 and three touchdowns. Gain of 20. First and goal at the 10 now. Cruz double covered there, deflected by Dave Brown. Second and 10 at the 10. Second and goal at the 10. Not the Memphis weatherman, Dave Brown, who was also the voice for many years of Memphis wrestling. Touchdown for Vegas, Lavernius Coles with the catch. And the kick is good. You're probably never going to see an instance in sports entertainment where the weatherman doubles as a wrestling commentator. I bet you that never happens again. So the Iron Man equalize. It is 7-7, seven to seven, ball to 35 for the kickoff. Lockett, Wilson, Robinson are your kick team. Kick return team. Oh, that was, that was kicked to Tacoma. That's a touchback. First and 10 for worse, Seattle. As we are now dead even at seven points apiece. Sean Alexander trapped to the right side. That is a three-yard gain. Schwartz on the tackle for Las Vegas. I was thinking a little bit today about Al Michaels. I know I was thinking about him a couple of days ago. Medium cross. And that's complete for Steve Largent. You got 80s on either side. Largent and Rice. Here in the HTFL, we let you wear whatever the hell you want, as long as it's a number and as long as it's a jersey. Gain of 16, and it's first and 10 at the 39. Uh, I was thinking at lunch today, and I'm going to do a read option and go to Wilson, because Wilson liked to use that run-pass option. Loss of two yards, and the Boo Birds come out here at Quest Field. There are a lot of rumors that this will be Al Michaels' last game for NBC. His contract is up. Second and 12 in completion. He's 77. Uh, but he's rumored to be going over. On third and 12, we're going to go... We're going to go Rice. Give me Jerry Rice. Thank you. On a medium fly route. Rumored to be going over to Amazon Prime for their package. Offsides. Defense. Number 65, five-yard penalty. And Seattle gets another crack at it at third and seven. We'll go large and short cross. I'll keep my play call since the coverage is unknown. And that's incomplete. I think the thing that Amazon Prime has to do is they were smart and they'll have a lot of money to throw at people. Ryan punting deep. Taylor back for Vegas, and he made a decent return illegal for him, block. 13 Receiving yards, but team, 10 yard penalty. as you can hear, illegal block being called against Tim McDonald. So Vegas takes over at their own 9, a minute 23. There are rumors that Troy Aikman, or my speculation is Troy Aikman may join Al Michaels, gain a 7, because he wasn't too happy about being assigned to the Philadelphia Bucks game, he wanted Fox to have picked the Dallas-San Francisco game. 
second and third and 16. And I respect Aikman's opinion on that. Now, even as a Bucks fan, gain of five, Colmer, Mickey Colmer, and with a gain and Sinclair on the tackle. We go to the second quarter having played the first. Seven to seven is your score. Vegas, 11 plays, 95 yards. And Seattle, 14 for 68. Michael seems more of a given to be heading to Amazon Prime. first Because they got Mike Tirico in the rings, in the wings. First and 10 at the 21, and he's filled in quite nicely on Sunday Night Football. And that's a completion to Cruz. Cruz making big catches. That's 14 more yards. He has three catches on the day for 71. Carr has started hot, 7 and 9 for 97. First to 10 out of the 35. So I don't think the drop-off is going to be too bad for NBC on their Sunday night package. First and 10 at the 35. And the give is to Garner. He picks up four yards. Now, they can't pick up Troy Aikman. I think the key to the Amazon Prime package working uh, for both the NFL and the network would be to have an analyst uh, try to find an analyst that's like John Madden used to be. For second and six at the 38. Try to find an ex-coach. Try to find somebody who could be opinionated. opinionated. And that's another completion to Cruz, a five-yard game. Third and a yard now at the 44, like Madden was. Madden did not really delve in the controversies. He had an opinion, and he gave it to you, and he made the game easier for pedestrian fans to understand, which I think uh, in a lot of instances you don't see among TV analysts. Uh, they assume you know what you need to know to watch football, but Madden was a guy who could talk the game down to your level because if you watched all Madden, he taught the game to women at the University of California. That was his first job out of football. First and 10, Vegas at their own 48. And here's the pass. And Brown might have intercepted it. Let's review, see. The ball was secured before he Yes, he ground. did. Interception. No timeout will be charged. Okay, so Seattle gets the ball. Change of possession. And it's Chad Brown. It's Chad Brown, the linebacker, not Dave Brown, the defensive back. Okay. So when they go, uh, when I turn them all over, we got to make them pay. So it's going to be a play-action long pass to Jerry Rice, first and 10 on Seattle's own 47. There's the throw incomplete just over the head of Rice, one of the great receivers of all time. Now second and 10 at the 47. The give is to Alexander, bounces off a couple, and that's four yards. Schwartz finally making the tackle. If Amazon Prime can find, uh, I think a perfect guy to, to call work at TV right now would be Sean Payton, the coach of the Saints, because he had some controversies in career. Remember, in his career, remember Bounty Gate. They need to find a coach, and they need to find a player who could well, give you the X's and the O's. Talk. You know, and realized, like John Madden did, that not everybody knows the same thing about football. Uh, but could also give you hot takes on the controversies of the day. Four-yard game. Shorts on the tackle. And I think, and I, and I ran for it on third down, which I shouldn't have done. Uh, but we're at the Vegas 45. We'll sideline punt it with John Ryan. We'll just... Try to play field position. Not a great punt. Goes out of bounds at the 17. And the punt went 28. If there is somebody out there who is like John Madden but could be controversial, I think that'd be a great fit for Amazon Prime. First and 10 at the 17. The Iron Man. Take possession again. And that's a gain of five. Another catch for Victor Cruz. Should put his autograph on the ball. He's been catching it so much. Five catches now for Cruz and 81 yards. Second and five. Intended for Cruz again, but this time Kennedy got to Carr as he threw and might have uh, deflected the trajectory of the ball a little bit. Carr now nine for 13, a pick and a touchdown. Third and five. Screen. That's a first down. That's Charlie Gardner out of Philadelphia. Who the Eagles did not pick up on. Oh, I'm sorry, not Philadelphia, but another San Francisco 
player. I know Garner, I think, at one point played with the Eagles. Well, I think I know. Maybe I don't know. First and 10 at the Vegas 28. Another completion by Cruz. It was fumbled, recovered by Vernon Davis. And again, it's second and three at the 35. So nearly another disaster there for Vegas. Playing on the road. And Gardner picking up a yard. Third and two, the ball at the 36. So crucial down here as we approach the midway point of the second quarter. Looking for Cruz, but not finding him overthrown. And it's fourth down. Don't think Vegas would try a fake punt here. And that is caught by Lockett. A fair catch. Punt going 39 yards. As I say hello to Ellie. Just a moment, folks. Let me, let me give you your choice, Ellie. There you go. Ellie right behind me here as I do this game. Doing it a little early today because I have an Amazon delivery coming. Trap right. Sean Alexander on first and 10 from the 25, and Alexander picking up two yards. We have an injury. Bonacani will be back after a few plays, so Bowman, a nine defender coming in. He played for the 49ers. He's out of Penn State, linebacker U, and it's now second and eight at the 27. We're going to pass here. We have only passed six times and rushed the ball 12 times. Alexander, eight carries, 43 yards. Crossing route to Brian Blades. And that was a check down to Alexander, actually. A seven-yard gain. Nick Bonacani coming back in. Third and a yard. And I'm going to do that run pass option again. Or we'll do the uh, RPO. And we'll look to Wilson. And he has stood up behind the line, Addison getting to him, saying, uh, take that college junk that you're trying and shove it. Fourth and two, Seattle will punt. Here's Ryan, John Ryan. And that's a good punt. Remember, Seattle has the win now. Punt went 55 yards. Returned by Taylor for 17. So that was a classic example of out-kicking your coverage if you are a Seattle fan. We're still at 7-7. Seems like we've been here for a while now. First and 10, Vegas at their own 29. And it's Carr looking to throw and finding Victor Cruz. Now we have right to the sidelines. He'll be back in a few plays. Wright was one of the outside linebackers for Seattle. That's going to bring in Wooden. I always like to show you who's who. Terry Wooden out of Syracuse, the Orangeman. Second and five at the 34, so he will fill in for a few plays, perhaps. That's underneath to Gardner, a first down for Vegas. 5-14 now left in the half. Ball of the 39. It is Carr throwing underneath to Mickey Colmer. A gain of six and Wooden. Wouldn't you know, he makes the tackle there. Second and four at the 45 with 4.32 to go. Car, uh, throwing for Gardner, that's an incomplete pass. And it's third and four at the 45. And Carr throwing again and another incompletion looking for Lavernius Cole. Carr has now thrown it 21 times in the half. 14 to 25, one pick, one interception, as we have been mentioning. So it's fourth and four. I'm going to watch for a fake here. Punch should land within the 15. I'll fair catch it. And that actually goes farther than the 15. No, fair caught at the 15 by Lockett. First and 10 from there. We'll pitch it to Alexander. And Vegas playing short tight, so we're going to go medium fly Jerry Rice instead. <laughs> Penalty. Pass interference. Defense. Number 21. Automatic. First down. So they get Asamuga for pass interference. And it's first to 10, but moving up to the 29 now. 
John L. Williams on the screen. We'll go to him. The Florida Gator from the early 80s who went on and played for the Seahawks. That's, those are his, that's his 1989 numbers. I probably have his picture somewhere, and I've just been hesitant to put it up. Second and ten. We're going to cross it to Steve Largent. That's incomplete. Third and ten. There must be Vegas fans making the trip up to Seattle cheering. And we'll go medium fly right back to Steve Largent in the three-wide set. That's an incompletion. Russell Wilson now four of ten for 36 yards, so the defense getting good pressure on him. Ryan will punt, and we're still tied 7-7. Seven seven. A bad snap! And Eisenhower recovers, and we have had a sudden turn of events here as Vegas is able to flip the field. They'll have a first and 10 at the 17. 2.53 to go in the half. It's Gardner. He loses a yard as Brown tackles him. Take your pick as to which Brown that was. I'm not calling a timeout. Neither is Vegas. Second and 11. 2.45 to go. And Victor Cruz again. His eighth catch of the half. He's already gone over 100 yards. He's at 105 on the day. And let's see. We get another play in before the two-minute warning. We do. It's Carr. Incomplete. And we have Emmanuel Sanders coming in. And it's going to be Coles and Sanders. So he replaces Victor Cruz. And it's second and goal to six. We're still not at the two-minute warning. We have 2.04 to go. That's, a, that's an incompletion. And now we reach the two-minute warning. A 7-7 tie, but perhaps not for long. Each team with all their three timeouts left, and uh, Seattle lost their challenge earlier, which resulted in a turnover, and Vegas still has theirs. So a third and goal to six. We'll see what happens. Complete to Garner for three yards. I'll call timeout with 149 to give us a little bit more time. Who sang that song from the 60s? I think it was the chairman of the board. Give me just a little more time. Okay. And your kick by Tucker is good. Justin Tucker, of course, hit that 66-yarder earlier this year. 10-7, the Ironman lead. And Seattle will get it once more before the half ends. And here's the kick. That's a touchback. Tucker kicked that off, and we know he has a strong leg. So we're going to take a shot over the middle here and go with Jerry Rice on first and 10 from the 20. And that's a gain of six for Wilson, and we'll use a timeout to go down to one left, and now we'll just use the sidelines. We'll go blades, medium out, on second and four. From the 26, that's an incompletion. You got three 80s. No, I'm sorry, an 80, an 80, and an 89. Blades is 89. How about large medium out on third and four? And Seattle's going to go three and out. Mm, mm, mm. Four, four. Brown will come back in, and he will punt it away. So Seattle's got to keep it close. Taylor with the fair catch at the 27. First and 10 for Vegas with 124, so they could pad on to their lead. That is Coles gaining five yards. Still in the game is Emmanuel Sanders, so we don't know what happened to Victor Cruz. Second and five at the 32 of all those catches. Probably has usage penalties. And again, a six there. That is... Car to Davis, first down, and Vegas uses their first timeout. They will have two left the remainder of the half. See what they do here. Carr gives to Colmer, gaining two, which really didn't make a lot of sense, but that's the game AI for you. One timeout left as Vegas calls their second. Minute two, 
Ball to 40. And it's Carr looking for Coles and then completion. Third and eight. Screen to Garner, but that's incomplete. And Vegas will have to punt it away. Still 48 seconds left, so if Seattle wants to do something, they still can. Fair caught by Lockett at the 16. The punt going 44. No return, so the net will also be 44. First and 10 at the 16. 41 ticks left on the clock. We'll look for Rice on a medium out. That's incomplete. He was looking for Alexander, which would have kept the clock running. Vegas with one timeout left. Medium out to Largent will try on second and ten. That is caught at the 13. Did he get out of bounds? He did not. And I think Seattle's just going to call it a half, which they do. So at halftime, and Seattle will get the choice for quarter number three, so there was no need to push. 10-7 Seattle, uh, trailing by three. Vegas with 37 plays. They only ran the ball eight times, 184 yards. Seattle has been balanced, 29 plays, but for 93. So we'll lock it back deep, and this will be a touchback, seven yards deep in the end zone. We will not risk it. And we'll go double tight end on the first play. And the HGFL the touchback brings it back to the 20, as per traditional rules. And we have a penalty. Encroachment defense. Number 65, five-yard penalty. I'm sure that Seattle would take the first and five as opposed to the second and six. So they take the penalty first and five at the 25. So now we get to the now the current touchback spot. Play action long slant to Jerry on first and five. Instead it's thrown underneath to John L. Williams who gains four yards. By the way, what has Rice, Rice been doing with Seattle? He's had 18 catches uh, for 282 yards. His uh, yards per catch 15.7. He's had two touchdown uh, catches. We'll try to make it three here as we're going to go play action bomb the Jerry Rice. Second in a yard. Good throw away down. Wilson runs for it. Short by a few inches. McDonald hurt for Vegas. So they bring in Landon Collins out of the University of Alabama. Third and in inches. And we're going to go play action short pass. To Steve Largent. And that's caught for a first, a gain of 11. That moves Russell Wilson to seven catches, seven completion, 16 yards, 16, can't say a damn thing today, 16 attempts, 64 yards. They have not really had a great deal of success running the ball, but we're going to stay with it. Trap right, Sean Alexander. This time he gains seven. Schwartz on the tackle, came up from behind as uh, Alexander had pretty much gotten to the secondary by that point. Carlson on a short hitch on second and three from the 48. And Wilson runs. He's got the first down this time, a gain of 10 before Asamuga gets to him. And Seattle is in Vegas territory at the 42. Williams. As Ella plays with her toys, gaining one yard, one yard, Eisenhower on the stop. Not the president, but this gentleman right here, Larry Eisenhower, former Boston Patriot. Second and nine at the 41. Nice little melting pot of players the uh, Vegas Ironmen have. Medium out to Largent. Coverage unknown, so we'll just stick with our play. Three wide. And Largent has it. Gain of 16. And that was his fourth catch of the day for 56 yards. And we're going to go screen, but to Jerry Rice on first and 10 of the 25. And Rice, who's a good runner, picks up six. Bonacani making the stop. 
we're going to go off tackle left in the double tight end set for Sean Alexander. He has a first down barely. Fred the Hammer Williamson on the tackle, a gain of four. And now it's another first down at the Vegas 15. And we're just going to keep hammering the ball. John L. Williams this time gaining two yards. Schwartz making the stop for Vegas. We'll go to a base two wide receiver, two running back formation. And we'll give it to Wilson. Sweep to the right side. We're going to let the quarterback call his own number. He gains two yards, so it will be third and six at the 11. Three wide. We'll put a man in motion. We'll go medium pass. If it's complete, it's a touch to Blades. Because if we try to out-trick him here. Wilson. Oh, he fumbled it, and Vegas has the ball. Oh, that's, that was a nightmare scenario for Seattle. Antoine popped the ball out. Bonacani recovered. And Seattle looked like they were at least going to tie the game on that drive. Doesn't get any points. First and 10 at the 20 for the Ironmen. Mm, mm, mm. Gain of two. Brown on the tackle for Seattle. Garner was the ball carrier. Garner now has seven carries, 17 yards. So Vegas has not been very effective running the ball either. 2.7 a carry as a team. And Seattle at 3.2. The only real difference in the game has been Carr being a bit more effective throwing it. He's 18 of 29 for 162 yards. Second and eight. We are more than midway through quarter number three. That's a catch for Coles. A gain of five. Coles now three catches, 20 yards. Third and three. Ball 27. And Garner does not make the first down yarder. Bobby Wagner with a good tackle for the Hawks. And it's going to be punting time for Babe Perilli. And lock it with a six-yard, I'm sorry, an eight-yard return. I always get my sixes and eights mixed up on this type of type over here on the play-by-play uh, uh, -play sheet. And it's a first and ten, Seattle at the 39. Four, 49 left, Seattle trailing 10-7. Very tight game. Slant to Largent. We'll put Largent over in the middle. That's an incompletion. Wilson is now 9 of 19 for 86 yards. They've been having trouble against this pretty good Vegas defense. Put Rice in the slam. Incomplete. Third and 10. We'll go medium pass. And we'll look to Rice. Yet again, 3 and out. That's a very embarrassing 3 and out. They don't move the ball an inch. And Ryan will punt it. A good punt taken by Taylor within his own 10. The return going 8 yards. 53-yard punt, a 45-yard net. And it's first and 10 at the 16 for Vegas. They lead 10-7. And that's a gain of 4. Car to Coles. Coles now, four catches for 24 yards. Haven't seen any anything of Victor Cruz after making his eight catches. Second and six at the 20. It's a gain of four. And Garner broke loose. Bobby Wagner finally made the tackle. Third and two yards to go. The ball is at the 24-yard line. We have 332 left in quarter number three. Lots of threes and twos. That's Davis, who is wide open. Recovered by Nash, but the, ref the officials did not see it. So there was no fumble, according to them, but the whole stadium saw it. First and 10 Vegas, they keep possession on the non-call at the 43. 57 yards away from Paydirt. Carr throwing for Davis, a completion. Both sides, defense, number 72, five-yard penalty. And they'll decline the penalty. It's going to be first and 10 at the Seattle 45-yard line. We are now in the last two minutes of quarter number three. With Seattle trailing still 10-7. Carr, an incompletion looking for 
Well, we don't on Gardner. They were keying in on Gardner, and that's an incompletion. Second and ten. Gardner, no gain there on the run. Easily on a stop for the Hawks, and it's a second and ten at the forty-five. Carr. Nothing there. An incompletion looking for Davis. If you, I'm thinking both teams are struggling on third downs, and I'm right. Seattle is 3 of 11, and Vegas is 3 out of 10. So it's punting time. 4 from 10 from the 45. Set up for a return. That will probably not happen. Sideline punt. Only going 24 yards for Perilli. So that gives Seattle a little more room. I would I was thinking that they would try to punt to the sidelines. And we have a first and ten at the twenty one. Double tight end set. We're gonna run Alexander here. But both teams have been struggling with the running game. Three yards and Fred the Hammer Williamson on the tackle. One time analyst for uh Monday night football and he didn't even make it out of the nineteen seventy four preseason. And we have 50 seconds left. This will be the last play of the quarter. John L. Williams will run it. Gain a three. Addison on the stop. And with that, we reach the end of quarter number three. One quarter left to go, barring overtime. 10-7, Vegas leading Seattle. Vegas with 47 plays, just 231 yards. Seattle has run 45 plays for 154. So not a lot of yardage being achieved in this one. We're going to screen it to Alexander on third and four. And Alexander catches it past the 30, past the 35 to the 36 before Addison makes the tackle. And it's first and 10. Off tackle left, Alexander. But Vegas playing short and tight. We're going to go... Bomb fly to Rice. And there it goes. And Rice could not come up with it. Incomplete pass. Second and ten. Ball at the 36. Still. Trap right Alexander. And that's a gain of five. Setting up third and five at the 41. They, uh, Seattle did have a drive that nearly resulted in a score that would have at least tied the game, uh, but a turnover occurred in the red zone. Thus, Seattle still needing a score. And this is going to be a medium out to Rice, and he's got it. A gain of 14 yards. And a rare third down conversion in this game. First and 10 at the 45. You might have watched the Pro Bowl uh, last Sunday, or I watched it actually on YouTube TV on Monday. Uh, off tackle right to Sean Alexander. He gains four yards. Kennard making the tackle for Vegas. And they experimented with a rule where the team that scored in lieu of kicking off could try a 4th and 15 play. In other words, you have one play to gain 15 yards to keep possession. And it's something that other leagues have experimented with in lieu of the onside kick because they don't want uh, special teams to play a role in, in games because of the increasingly known injury risks. And I, I don't think anybody completed a, fir, uh, a first down on 4th and 15 the whole game. By the way, that's a rule that's available on Action PC Football. Or uh, I know it was in the 2020 edition. I don't know about 2021. That instead of, ki of going for an onside kick, you could have a 4th and 15 play. In other words, one play to get 15 yards. You get it, you keep possession. And on that last play, getting back to the game, 3-yard gain for Alexander, 3rd and 3. I'm going to roll out Russell Wilson, and we'll look for Blades on third and three. A completed pass, a gain of six yards, and a first down. So I'll be very interested to see if the NFL adopts that rule because the rules that other leagues, like uh, there was the XFL and there was a league before them, I think it was like uh, AFFA or something like that, 
maybe I'm thinking of any given Sunday, but there was a league uh, before the XFL came back in 2020 and it got shut down uh, mainly because of the coronavirus. We're going to pitch it left to Alexander on first and 10 from the Vegas 32. And he gets to the 26. Shorts walking off. His return is probable. Second and four. The ball at the 26. Alexander getting tired, but we're still going to use him. Trap right. The ball is not heavy. It's third and four. And Kurt Warner, not the Kurt Warner quarterback, but Kurt Warner with a C coming in. He's out of Penn State, and we're going to go to him on a screen on third and four. Defense playing short and tight, though, so we're going to go medium fly to Jerry Rice instead. And Russell has a good audible rating. It goes underneath to Warner. It's a first down. Gain of seven. 12 play drive, 60 yards achieved so far. 652 off the clock. And this will be play number 13. We'll go right back to Warner. I'm sorry, that is not Warner. That is Chris Warren who has come in the game. A gain of four. So we've had Kurt Warner and Chris Warren each receive handoffs. We're going to stick with Warren and go off tackle right side. And this is going to be a touchdown for Seattle. Chris Warren, who's a good running back Seattle used in the 90s. With the go-ahead score, 13 to 10, Vegas may be in some trouble here. And it's very—it's a good kick by Josh Brown on the point after 14 to 10. 7:39 left, and Gafford back deep for Vegas. Looks like it will be returnable. He takes it about the seven or the eight. His return to the 32. The return will be statistically computated at 25 yards. First and 10 at 32. Carr now. They need a touchdown for the lead. Colmer, a two-yard gain. Lincoln Kennedy on the stop for the Seahawks. Seahawks coming in today 1-4. Vegas 4-1. and one. But it's still very early in the HTFL season. Everybody plays 18 games. No buys. And it's second, eight, second and eight at the 34. Carr looking for Davis and finding him. A gain of nine. Nash injured. One of the defensive tackles. His return is questionable. And Nash, Kenny easily with his 10th tackle. Mabane coming in. Brandon Mabane. You see him there. And it's now a first and 10 Vegas at the 43. They are 57 yards away from retaking the lead. Oh, and Cole's o over the middle open. 14 yards. Richard Sherman making the tackle. Of course, Sherman played the last season with the Bucks, and was limited in terms of his availability. A first and 10 at the 43. We have 626 to go in regulation time. And Carr sacked by Sinclair. And they're going to bring Santonio Holmes. The former Steeler in the game, out of, and Sinclair, of course, out of eastern New Mexico. Second and 15 at the 48 of Seattle. That throw incomplete looking for Coles. Third and 15 at the 48. 5.03 left to go. It really gets bright in here. <laughs> As I record, this is about 3.30 in the afternoon, maybe a little later. Maybe a little earlier. Let's see. It's 3.20. Okay, 3.20. And those of you who spoke at 4.20, you're going to be very happy. Fourth and 15 at the 48, and Vegas is going to punt it away, which they do. A sideline punt by Perilli. Out of bounds at the 15. Seattle, 14 to 10 leading. Over Vegas, this would be a mild upset. Trap left Alexander. Considering the talent on all these teams, I don't think, you know, when you have a 1-4 team beating a 4-1 and one team, that it's a huge upset. Two-yard game for Alexander. Bruiser Kennard 
on the stop for Vegas. We have 4.45 to go. Uh, Seattle's going to slow it down. And we are actually going to go over a reverse to Jerry Rice and hope to hit here. And Rice, can he turn the corner? No! It only gains three yards. Marginal gain at best, considering that, that on average that will work for 12. Bruiser Kennard on the stop, a gain of three, and it's third and five. And we intend to keep it keep a slow down pace. Hitch to Rice. We're going to stay in that double tight formation. Make Vegas thinking we're going to run, but not to be. And in completion, and Seattle has to punt it. So they're going to have to endure at least one, maybe two more possessions for Vegas with 3.14 to go. Ball is at the 20. The line of scrimmage is the 20. And we had a bad snap earlier. Taylor catching it. Going past the 50. It was a fumble. Schwartz recovered it. And Vegas takes it over takes it over at the 47 of Seattle. We have 305 left. 306 left. Again. Five, sixes, and eights. I sometimes get mixed up. First and ten at the Seattle, 47, with 306 to go. That's a completion to Coles. And Coles with a burst of speed. Encroachment defense. Gains 36. Number 79, five yard penalty. Jacob Green encroached. So now, Seattle in with their backs to the wall. First and 10, Vegas at the 12. It is Carr. A touchdown. They take the lead. Holmes. San Antonio Holmes. Just like he did in the 2009 Super Bowl with perhaps a game-winning catch, although we have 244 still left. Super Bowl 43 when they beat the Cardinals, the Steelers did. Capaletti, his kick is true, and it's 17-14. Gino Capaletti, who scored more points than anybody in AFL games from 1960 to 1969. 2.44 left, and now the bonus is on Seattle. to Kick at least a field goal. That's a touchback. As Tucker again kicks it very far. So we'll see what Seattle can do. We're going to go large on a medium cross. Coverage unknown, so we're just going to stick with our play. And Largent could not catch up to that. An incomplete pass. Wilson, 13 of 28, 122 yards. Passing has not been his forte today. Medium fly. Jerry Rice. Marker down. Personal foul. Defense. Number 46, 15-yard penalty, automatic, first down. So McDonald, a personal foul, 15 big yards for Seattle there. They have committed eight penalties, 89 yards. Seattle has yet to commit a penalty in this game, and we have 224 left. Okay, so we'll go to Rice, medium slant. And how many times have you seen Rice turn a slant into a big play over the years? That is Carlson gaining seven. We will not get another playoff before the two-minute warning. It, was not, it wasn't very likely. Two minutes left. 17-14 is your score. And each team with three timeouts left. And Seattle probably will start using their largent on a medium hitch, second and three. It's there. And it's a gain of 14. And we'll call our first timeout. A minute 54 to go. So Seattle needs a field goal at least to, and that would extend the game, but I'm sure they would love to get a touchdown. And we are going to go long fly to Jerry Rice. 8% chance this is a touchdown, or 8.8. .8. And that's an incomplete pass. A minute 46 to go. We're going to screen it to Sean Alexander. And that is a loss of three yards. Uh, Seattle is going to hurry to the line. And we're going to go to Largent on a medium crossing route. Minute 34 and the clock ticking. Ru uh, Russell Wilson runs. It's a two-yard gain. Fred Williamson on the tackle. And Seattle has to call time here. 
Fourth and 11. They are too far out to attempt a field goal. So we'll put a man in motion. Look for the medium pass. The quarterback must pass this. And we got to go to Jerry Rice here. Five wide. And here you go. It's Rice. Short of the first down. Short of the first down. Fourth and 11, and he only got 10. So Vegas takes over. A minute for the le left. Seattle only has one timeout, so pretty much this game is over, unless the AI does something stupid. Colmer, a three-yard gain on that carry, and a timeout for Seattle. They have none left. If Vegas can run two more plays successfully, they win the game. Gardner, gain of a yard. And one more play, third and six. Colmer gaining three yards. It will not matter. One second to go. I'll block a punt here, I met, but I imagine the clock... Oh, they ran a play. No, no, no. Vegas could not get a playoff. That's your game. So I was right to begin with. It's 17-14, your final. Vegas over Seattle, but Seattle really gave a tough go in this one. And it was Carr, who was your MVP, the 12-yard pass to Santonio San Holmes, proving to be the difference. Team stats, 305 yards for Vegas, 262 for Seattle. Vegas was perfect in the red zone. Two TDs, one touchdown, which accounted for all 17 of their points. Seattle, two touchdowns, three trips. Seattle did not commit a penalty the entire game. Well, Vegas committed 8 for 89. Seattle ran 67 plays. And Las Vegas also, I'm sorry, Vegas ran 57 plays. And here are your individual player stats. Carr, 26 of 41, 272 yards, threw one pick, and threw for two touchdowns. Alexander, 17 carries, 77 yards. Cruz, eight catches for 105 yards, but wasn't seen after the first half. And he was the only player going over the century mark in terms of receiving yards. The leading tackler, Kenny Easley, with 10. So your final was 17-14 Vegas. They will go 5-1 and one on the year. And tomorrow we will do Vegas, not Vegas, Los Angeles in Kansas City. So I hope you enjoyed today's game, and I enjoyed bringing it to you. This has been Big Polly coming to you, wishing you well. I also did a Legends of Boxing game review earlier in the day, so that is available on YouTube as we speak for your perusal. Godspeed and God bless everybody. We'll do it again tomorrow. We'll also do the weekly recap of the games we did not catch in week six. Bye-bye for now, everybody.